Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. Bombshell emails show Fauci Commission Day 2020 study that he then used to prove COVID leaked from Wuhan lab. Yeah. Dr. Anthony Fauci commissioned and edited the report he cites to disprove the lab leak theory House Republicans find. <laughs> it's amazing to me. It truly is. He commissions a report to disprove the lab leak theory and then uses that report to say that it didn't happen. It's amazing. It's like planning evidence in a criminal criminal case, which this could have very well be. But the odds of him ever facing justice or facing criminal charges are basically zero. It, it's amazing how everybody gets caught and nobody gets charged or goes to jail. Everybody's guilty, so nobody's to blame. Many media outlets have started to dismiss the lab leak theory, only the later suggested it may be possible. The difference, my understanding so far, which, by the way, I'm under, uh, I'm in YouTube jail with a strike over my channel. Anything medical, anything to do with COVID or any of that stuff, please consult your physician and do what's best for you with your physician's guidance. Got to say that. Here's the difference. I think at the very beginning of the pandemic, when it was starting to spread around the world and China knew what it was, there's a difference between if it came from the wet markets, like they say, that would be a natural virus. The virus that escaped from the Wuhan lab, at least that's the, it looks like the speculation and all the facts point to, was man-made. It was enhanced. Gain of function is the term they use. And if doctors around the world and pharmaceutical companies knew that this was man-made or man-made enhanced, they could have had a better chance of coming up with a vaccine or a way to combat it. That's my understanding. So there is a huge difference. Many media outlets started to dismiss the lab leak theory only to later suggest it may be possible. Yeah, when all the evidence points to something else, they say, well, maybe it might have happened, maybe, when all the evidence is in. And here's here's the really one that sticks in their craw. In January, a government watchdog agency blasted the National Institute of Health for failing to keep tabs on U.S.-sponsored virus experiments in China. Now, I can't do Fauci's voice very well, but I'll try. We did not... We did not send money to the Wuhan lab to enhance coronaviruses. No, what they did was they gave a grant to one uh, nonprofit or agency who gave that same money to another nonprofit or agency or research center who gave it to another research center who gave their research center to the Wuhan lab. So technically, with his lawyer-like testimony before Congress, which I believe he lied, you can tell by the thumbnail of this video, he lied. Did they directly give it to him? No. But he knew where it was going, and he knew what hands it was going through to get there. That's a lie. Dr. Anthony Fauci, by the way, he was the highest paid federal employee in Washington, in the country. He makes more than the President of the United States or did before he got the hell out of Dodge when the Republicans took over the House of Representatives. Dr. Anthony Fauci commissioned a February 2020 paper to disprove the possibility that the COVID originated in the lab before publicizing a study at a White House news conference weeks later. That is one thing I'm a big Trump supporter. Say that right up front. He believed all these people. He believed Fauci and the lady there, I forget her name, the other doctor and I mean, press conference after press conference. He believed people. If he had any deep government experience in Washington, he would have known who the bad players were. What got him elected as an outsider made it really hard when a crisis hits like this. But that's not Trump's fault. He was told who to believe. When it found out it all came down, 
I mean, let's just tell the truth here. He believed people he shouldn't have. Newly released emails uncover the House Republicans probing the COVID-19 pandemic shield the former head of the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Disease. Both commission had final approval on a scientific paper which claimed it was probable that the virus leaked out of a lab in Wuhan. Just weeks later, he stood next to then-President Donald Trump at a press conference and cited that every paper, that the very paper as evidence that the idea of a lab leak was implausible without admitting he commissioned the leak. Many media outlets then started to dismiss the idea only to later suggest a lab leak theory is possible as new evidence arose supporting the claim. This is a massive cover-up. This is a cover-up on a scale I can't even begin to tell you. And in January, the Energy Department and the FBI both concluded the virus did likely spread from a lab leak in Wuhan. The CIA is yet to declare a definitive position. Yeah, okay. And it shows Fauci there. It's unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. And it shows you some of the uh, some of the letters and some of the emails, and it just, it's incredible to me. What a huge cover-up. The bombshell emails released by House Republicans on Sunday shows that Fauci commissioned and edited a paper entitled The Proximal Origins of SARS-CoV-2 before it cited as evidence that COVID did not originate from a lab in Wuhan. It was written just four days after Fauci and his NIH boss, Francis Collins, held a call with the authors to discuss the report that COVID may have been leaked to a, a genetic testing lab in Wuhan, may have been intentionally genetically manipulated, i.e. enhanced. Knowing that ahead of time, I think, would have made a huge difference. I'm not a virologist. But knowing whether it was nature-made or man-made, I think, would have been a huge, huge jump in trying to combat it. In the emails, Dr. and Christian Anderson admits that Fauci prompted him to write the paper with the goal of disproving the lab leak theory. So let's create the evidence that proves that we're right. So it doesn't find out it didn't come from a wet market in China. It's, you know, it's amazing to me. He submitted the peer or review paper to Natural Medicine on February 12, 2020, with a cover email reading, there's been a lot of speculation, fear-mongering conspiracies put forward in this space. To add insult to injury, this is really about the 2020 election. And that just threw gas on the fire of, of cover-ups and we say one thing in reality is another, and then 2020 was just a cluster blank for everybody. This paper was prompted by Jeremy Farr, Tony Fauci, and Francis Collins. And, of course, you can read on. According to previously released emails, this assertion is demonstrably false. And you can read the whole article. There's quite a bit here. Under the changes in sentence report, which is improbable, that the SARS-CoV-2 emerged from laboratory manipulation and SARS-related coronavirus. Yeah. They changed it from unlikely to improbable. And if you remember, there he is with Trump and Pence. What a scumbag. He should be in jail. I mean, what a narcissist. Ever see some of the the Zoom interviews that he did in his office is a giant picture of himself on the wall. Who the hell puts a giant picture of just themselves on the wall? You and a family member? You and somebody else? You may be even on vacation, but just a giant picture of you for you to look at? What does he have, short man syndrome? Oh, gosh. Still, even with all the edits, Collins emailed Fauci expressing dismay that the proximal origin which they say prior to publication were given the opportunity and it did not squash the lab leak hypothesis and asked if the NIH could do more to put down the lab leak hypothesis. The House Republicans write in a report. We don't want people to know 
that was gain of function research done. And a lot of the money came directly or indirectly from America. The next day, Dr. Fauci cited proximal origin from the White House podium when asked if COVID-19 leaked from a lab. He said at the time, there was a study recently where a group of highly qualified, I'm gonna get, let me do my Fauci voice if I can. There was a study recently where a group of highly qualified evolutionary virologists looked at the sequence and bats as they evolve and the mutations that it took to get to the point where it is now is totally consistent with a jump up species from an animal to a human, he said. So the paper will be available. I don't have the authors right now. We can make it available to you. Of course, he had the authors. He told them how to write it. That's a lie. Now, that's technically not under oath, but maybe he did lie under oath. We're going to have to go through and see. It's amazing to me. Ted Cruz recently told the Conservative Political Action Committee in CPAC that Fauci ought to be prosecuted for allegedly lying about Corona's origins. Speaking from the lab leak, he said for two years that we decided it derided as a conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat wearing nutty theory that you're allowed to say or you get banned on social media. And just some of the rest of the article here. And we'll just leave it at that. So uh, I want to leave you one thing in the end here. How CNN and Jeff Zucker, remember that piece of garbage? Look how he handled it. And this is from the New York Post. CNN ex-boss Jeff Zucker told staff not to probe lab leak theory because it was a Trump talking point. Their politics, this is from Tim Elliott. Their politics explains their journalistic incompetence. It was all about politics. All of it. I'm not a soothsayer. I can't see the future. But if COVID did not interfere with the 2020 election year, with all the lockdowns and all the craziness that went along with it, Donald Trump would have won again. And you know the funny part is, these morons like Jeff Zucker, MSNBC, CNN, all of the Democrats, 99% of the Democrats, 90% of the social media and the mainstream media, they should have let Trump win. Things would have been a lot better for the Democrats. Now Trump is saying he's coming back for retribution. And frankly, I don't blame him. And I'm not even going to talk about the election itself because that's a bugaboo subject on this website. I'm talking about retribution for what they did to him with all these endless, endless court proceedings, which they're still doing. Now they ended up with a geriatric uh, dementia starting president who's embarrassed the entire Democrat Party. It's going to take a decade to recover from this. They should have let Trump win. They should have let him win. And he would have got nailed for a lot of the COVID stuff that went wrong. But instead, they had to have him out. It's, it's, it's a scorched earth policy. It's like having a nuclear weapon drop on your city and say, oh, well, look, we won. I mean, it's amazing to me. Is Trump perfect? Is he always say the right thing? No. But frankly, I think in this case, he was the victim when he got played. And he got played big. And a man with his ego does not like to get played with. We're going to have to see how this works out. And if you notice Jeff Zucker here, that piece of garbage, you don't hear from him anymore. He's back with his new young girlfriend and all his millions and his nice homes. Just living the life. And all the rest of us have to put up with it. The, the, what he did and the damage that he's done to this country. And many others. He didn't do it by himself. Sorry this video is running a little long, but... This is an important, it's an important topic and story. Until the next time, folks, goodbye and good luck. 